Our project this week is going to be a drawing that's um, drawn in the style of an artist named Robert Indiana. And he is an, a pop artist who did sculptures like this one, which is the love sculpture. It's a very popular, famous sculpture. This one is in Wichita, but there was actually postage stamps and everything made out of this sculpture. This is another one of his, it's called Hope. And basically, Robert Indiana used words to express himself through his art. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that and it's gonna have two purposes. It's gonna spell home, H-O-M-E, and then you're gonna have words inside it that represent home for you. And right now, these words can be positive or negative since some of us are um, stuck home all the time. So it's going to be a way that you can express yourself and how you feel through the visual word home. So we're gonna start by getting a square and we've done this before some of you. If you fold your paper over to where the corners line up here and then cut it, you will have a square. Now, what we want to do is we want to get this middle line on here to help us do our letters. So you're going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. And this gives us lines for our O or our H, our O, our M and our E. Now we're just gonna do these basic bold letters. So we're gonna start by drawing a line following that middle line. And that becomes the edge of three of your letters. Let's go ahead and do the H first. You're gonna to wanna to draw your two lines here and here. You don't wanna draw in the middle. So do a width here. And I would do this with pencil. I'm just doing it with marker so you can see it and another one here, about the same size. If you look, those are about the same size. Then you're gonna draw an open bottom square. So you're just gonna go up, up over and down. Now you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing here, up top as you did down here. So you're gonna go down, and that's gonna create your H. See, I have your H here. Now your M plays off of those lines. You're gonna go from here to here to create a triangle or a V, and then you're gonna repeat that here and then take your lines down. So you have your H, your M, your E. It's going to be a stretched E. You're gonna follow that fold line again, and then you're gonna go in and do your top, your middle, and then your bottom. Now, your O is gonna go at an angle, very similar to his second um, letters. And I'll show you just a second. See how his second letters are at, at an angle, the O's at an angle, the O's at an angle. So we're gonna play off of his style. Now, I'm gonna try to do this in pen, but I would do it in pencil so it's a little bit easier. I'm gonna do my inside circle, and see how I'm using that line to make the diagonal? Then I'm gonna do my outside circle. And if you do this in pencil, then you can fix it and correct it to make it look a little bit better. I would probably round that a little bit more. So you have your H, O, M, E. Now, you can choose to color it however you want. I painted it, but you could go in with crayons or whatever you wanted to do. But inside it, we're gonna do some writing. Now, there's a type of writing called asymmetric writing, and it's basically using writing as art. It's drawing for visual. And that's what I've done a lot. If you 
are good with cursive. You don't have to be, but basically you're just focusing on the word itself. So like this right here, family, I'm gonna do the F and then I'm just gonna do the rest because it's just a visual. I'm just putting it on the paper like um, dinner. I like to eat dinner with the kids, it's nice. Dinner or I like, on mine I have my dogs, Wolfie. But it's just kind of getting it down and sometimes these are very pretty because you're not focusing on the word itself but just the look of the word. Now, you don't have to do this, this is just a way that I had did it. And what I did also is I went through on a piece of paper and I wrote the stuff that I like or the pros that would be the stuff I like about being at home at this time when, when we can't go to school. And then I also did another one, which is the cons, the stuff that I don't like about being home and not at school. And like some of the pros, again, you have family, you have my dogs, um, I like the air that I get to go outside. Um, just stuff like that. Now, outdoors. Then on maybe stuff that I, that I don't like. I don't like that it's stressful. Um, I don't like that I don't get to see my friends. I don't like that I have to teach on Zoom for school instead of seeing you guys in person. So you're just gonna come through and do a list of words that represent the stuff you like about being at home and the stuff you don't like about being home. And then you're just gonna fill in your letters. And what I did, you don't have to, I went ahead and did my words in dark marker of the stuff I like and I went in in like a silver and you can kind of see it right there. See the silver, that's stress. And, I, and then I just wrote in some of the stuff that I don't like, like right here if you can see is the zoom that I don't like about being at home so much. And then, like I said, if you're doing pen, I would do that before you color because marker doesn't go over pen very well, or crown, marker doesn't go over crown very well. But you again, you can do it however you want. And this is our Robert Indiana style of pop art for home.